All right, so in this video, I wanna talk about the two best social media platforms, in my opinion, that you should be on if you want to use social media to get clients. So these are two platforms, if you were to wipe out all the other platforms that I'm on, and I'm on five different ones right now, these are the two that I would choose right now at this moment. So we'll get into that in just a second, but if you are here watching your second or more video and you're enjoying the content, I have something called a gentleman's agreement, which means that all I ask is if you are getting value out of these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps me out a lot and these videos are free for you to watch, but it takes a lot of time and energy for me to come up with the ideas and shoot and publish these videos on a regular basis. So again, all I ask is if you enjoy these videos and you're getting value out of it, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and let's get into the, the two social media platforms right now. So I'm active on five different platforms right now. YouTube, which is obviously where you're watching this, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and I'm also on Instagram from time to time shooting reels. And if you were to ask me, what are the only two platforms that you would choose? These are the two that I would pick. And those two are YouTube and LinkedIn. And here's why. So social media for me has two goals. Number one is to get awareness for people to see your, your content and discover you and find out more about you. And the second reason is to connect with other people, whether that be other colleagues, whether that be new friends, whether that be potential clients, it's to connect with your market. So there are two platforms that I feel are the best to do this. And this is based on years, three years or so of posting on social media pretty regularly. So the first platform, YouTube, the way that I use this is for discovery and awareness. And I love YouTube because I can post a video and it's a, it's a bit of a hybrid between a search engine and a social media platform. So I can post a video and it can be viewed for years. If you go back to my oldest video on my channel, the first video was posted in January, 2020, it's still getting views and it's one of my highest viewed videos on my channel. And even though it's different than what I'm talking about now, it's still getting views and it's still introducing people to a bit about what I do and introducing them to, to who I am and my personality as well. So YouTube, there's really no other platform like it. There's no platform that has a built-in search engine where you can make a post and people can type in keywords where they're looking for something specific and your video will pop up. So another video, for example, my highest viewed video is around Twitter marketing. And I don't know exactly where I show up in the search engines right now, but if you type in Twitter marketing, I'm usually in the top three spots. And so just imagine the value of that when someone goes and searches for how to do Twitter marketing or how to grow your Twitter following. My video shows up there. And so YouTube is my first platform because I use it for discovery and awareness. And it's also a bit of a sales funnel because people can watch all of my videos and I have hundreds of videos at this point and they can spend hours and hours on my channel and get warmed up to what I do. And if they want to work with me, by the time they reach out, they've already been warmed up through my content and my videos. So that's the first platform is YouTube for discovery and awareness and for the search engine capabilities. The second platform is LinkedIn and LinkedIn is also a very unique platform because what you, what LinkedIn gives you is the ability to search by job title and industry and company size, and you can get very specific with this. So let's say I wanted to find the CEO or CEOs of software companies in Seattle, which is where I'm based right now. I can go to LinkedIn, I can type those queries in, and it'll give me a list of thousands of CEOs and founders of SaaS companies in Seattle. And there's really no other platform like that. So I can't go to Facebook and give it job titles or industries. I can look in groups, but it's not going to give me those exact people. I can't do that on Instagram. I can't search for people who have specific job titles or industries because I can search based on hashtags, but nothing that's as specific to the individual. On platforms like Twitter, Twitter's great. I love Twitter, but it's not easy again to find exactly what you're looking for. So LinkedIn, remember the, the second reason that we're using social media or the, the reason I use it is to connect with my ideal people or my ideal targets. So if I want to start conversations with those CEOs of SaaS companies in Seattle, with a few clicks of a button, I can find those people and then I can reach out with a message. Now, the other thing that's really awesome about LinkedIn is it's a two-way street, meaning 
if someone connects with you, if they accept your connection request, they now see your content and you see their content as well. So it's a two-way street where you see each other's content. And because I'm a content publisher where I, I post something every day on LinkedIn, that's very important for me. So if you look at another platform like Twitter, for example, or Instagram, if you click follow on someone's page, they're not automatically following you back. You're just following them. So it's a bit of a one-way street. They have to choose to follow you. So while Twitter is great if you're publishing ideas and your perspectives and insights and just random posts, it's good to build a following by attracting people through your content but it's not a two-way street and it's not easy to identify the exact people that you're looking for. So LinkedIn solves those problems. You can just, with a few clicks of a button, you can find exactly who you're looking for. And when you connect with somebody, it's a two-way street. They see your content, you see their content, and it's easy to nurture people that way because if they see your content for one, three, six, 12 months, they're gonna be a lot more warmed up to what you do by that time. And the other thing with LinkedIn is the profile feature is is pretty powerful it looks like a website when you click over to someone's profile you see their headline you see the about section of, of what they do you can link to their different products and there's a featured section where you could put links and images and videos there so it's a it's a pretty all-in-one solution for treating it like a website you can have all of your links and information that you would otherwise put on a website on your linkedin profile which isn't like the other social media platforms so I hope that's useful. Those are the two platforms I would choose. I'm not saying I would abandon the other ones right now. I'm still active on all those platforms, but if I were only choose two, it would be YouTube and LinkedIn for the reasons that I just stated here. So hope you liked that video. If you did, give it a like, comment below what you thought, and I hope you found that valuable. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.